I first met Lori during my freshman year during the opening week events, which included an Italian dinner and a barbecue, and we had tables in the student center as well. Each and every time I met Lori during that first week, she was friendly and outgoing and willing to help myself or anyone else who needed acclimate to Hillel and to life on campus in general, and it really helped the transition from high school to college uh, to go smoothly for me in that first week. We Facebooked each other, started talking, we went for lunch together. She told me more about the organization, and uh, I really liked it. I remembered at orientation I met a girl named Lori, and I came into the Hill office saying, is Lori around? And I said, Lori's not here. I said, no Lori. So all of a sudden I didn't know anybody, and Lindsay pops out of the office. She goes, well, I'm the JCSC, and uh, I hadn't gone to like the, the opening week barbecue or anything. I wasn't so involved. I didn't know so many people, but... I decided to come to Hillel and, and I met Lindsay and actually I had a really rough first month of school and I, I wasn't around Hillel so much as much as I appreciated Lindsay was there when I needed someone to talk to about a crazy roommate. My uncle passed away and it was, Lindsay was really a great friend at the time. And so I run to my computer, I'm on the phone with her and I check my email and I get a letter from International Hillel saying I was accepted into the Grinspoon internship. I was so excited. I just wanted to jump up and down and scream and it was like one of the most amazing parts of like that whole year, how it ended. And Erica was on the phone the whole time going, I knew you could have done it. I'm so proud of you. And just during that time, it just made me realize how special that Erica was in my life, that she had faith in me and she really helped push me to get to this internship. We would always talk about Judaism or things going on in the world, especially with Israel. And I remember she would tell me, like, one day we were sitting, we were having, like, a fish out of water event, and we were all sitting there on the quad, like, in front of Bits and Bites, and talking about, like, Israel and Judaism, just, like, kicking a ball around laying on the grass. I've said to everybody, everyone who I've encountered with that ever since I've come to college, I feel like I've become more involved in my faith. And I definitely owe some of that to Hillel because they, they get me involved. I love going to their events and Erin's definitely a part of that as well. The best program was this one that Lori did called The Jewish Position, which was a program educating about the Jewish views on sex. So it was a play on words. But it was great because she made a topic that we were all interested in, educational and fun, and it was completely just great informal Jewish learning and she made learning fun for me which it definitely wasn't as a kid. My favorite part about being a JCSC was just hanging out with the students, getting to know them one-on-one -on, -one on a personal level and creating programs, helping them create programs, having them help me create programs and also watching them grow throughout the year being a JCSC provides challenges and excitement on a daily basis. It's so rewarding seeing the students learn something or participate in an activity. It doesn't really take much to be able to make a difference. All you need to do is have the support behind you and the knowledge and the willpower to be able to go out and be able to talk to anyone and really show them that you care to make a difference and to help them out. I definitely learned a lot about my Jewish identity and about Judaism as a JCSC. I came from a strong cultural Jewish background, but not necessarily a strong religious background. So I definitely learned a lot in terms of the religion and the historical components of Judaism. I dressed up in this land of two costume. And I just remember thinking that, you know, I didn't care, I didn't know anyone, you know, I'm pretty outgoing and make a fool of myself. But the fact that students were coming up, like students that I had just met and partaking in the excitement and, and doing cartwheels and somersaults all throughout campus and wishing everyone a happy new year and throwing honey sticks. It was really nice. It was really warm. And you could see the excitement and enthusiasm that the students at Hofstra had. I love meeting with students. I felt it's very youthful. Um, I love doing all the activities, talking with students. It was, it was just a very, very good social, fun experience. The JCSC experience so far has been fulfilling. I've done things I never thought I could. I've impacted students in ways that have been incredible to see, and I've just, it's been a really exciting year. Being a JCSC has been a dream of mine for a really long time, and I've 
really loved my year as a fellow. Um, it's been fulfilling, enriching, exciting, and I'm planning on continuing uh, my involvement in Hillel and the Jewish community because of this year. Lori G has had an amazing impact on my life. When I first met her, she was so bubbly and outgoing, and to this day, every time I talk to her, she continues to have that same enthusiasm and energy and effort for everything she does and she really taught me how to be a force in the workplace how you can combine your skills and things that you're good at and bring it into any environment and make people feel welcome and loved and trusted and if i hadn't had Lori as my jcsc i probably would never have become a board member i probably wouldn't have been as interested in planning programs she was the one that ignited my interest in planning programs she's the one that started throwing ideas at me. She's the one that said, come on, that's a cool idea. Let's do a program about it. So I would have never become women's group chair if it went for her. I may have not gone on birth rate if she wasn't the one that said, oh, you'll have a great time. So I owe my entire four-year Jewish experience to Jane Howard. Nice and friendly and welcoming. And then she happened to be on campus a few months ago. And I was tabling that day, and she came down and just sat with me at the table. Um, you know, I was actually talking to a student at that point, so she just kind of sat, and then I was able to talk to her, and we took some pictures, and it was really nice to see her, and she could see me, you know, being a good JCSC. The very first time I met her, um, we were at one of the Hello conferences, and Rav told me that Diane was there, so it was my first time that I met her. And I said, I, I'm really embarrassed. I don't know what she looks like. And he said, just look for the woman with a really, really big smile on her face. And so he was walking me through, and there's all these people. And he introduced me to Diane, and she just gave me a huge smile and a huge hug and welcomed me to Hofstra. I met Diane a, a number of times. She was always very sweet and friendly. She has a great heart. She's very generous. Um, just a very warm, giving person. When I was recovering at home in Seattle, she sent me letters um, to get well, and I didn't even know who she was. I never met her, and when I finally did meet her, right before I started working at Hofstra, I was just so happy. She was so nice, so welcoming, and um, it was a really nice way to start my year off as a JCSE. Oh, I